case study method. Hello dear students. Today we are going to discuss about case study method of data collection which is phenomenon to play an important role in research study. First, meaning and definition of case study method. Meaning of case from Middle English term CAS. The word case is originated from old French word CAS which means an event, happening, situation, quarrel, trial, etc. Case study means an in-depth investigation of a social unit or event. This is considered as an in-depth investigation of a social unit like single person, group, community or event. Case study indicates a form of qualitative data collection method. It is a very popular form of qualitative data collecting method which involves a careful and complete observation of a social component of individual or group. Case study points out deep perceptions and clears insight into life. Case study involves to recover a deep perception and then makes available a clear insight into life. Case study means a complete analysis of particular phases of total personality or event. Case study is a complete analysis for developing report of the status of an individual, group or event with respect as a rule to specific phases of total personality or event. For example, a lady of countryside participated in adult educational scheme and achieved its benefit. Now she is capable to read and write. Here the investigator is involved to collect information about her, socio-cultural status, family background, reason of her participation in adult education program, etc. Characteristics of case study method. It is first comprehensive and an intensive study of unit. Investigator can hold comprehensive and intensive study in different aspects of the selected unit like that of a person, family or society. They can give the weight and consideration towards all the aspects of the selected unit. Second, process of recovering the actual causes. Investigator not only holds the study and finds out the incidents but also deeply studies and gets entry into the actual causes which force or abet him to commit such incidents. Third, variables and traits linking with one another. Under this method, investigator can endeavor to know the variables and traits which are linked with one another. Fourth, behavioral pattern under case study. Behavioral pattern of the concerning unit is directly studied under case study. Fifth, preservation of wholeness of study units. Social unit is considered as a whole and there case study method can preserve wholeness of the said units. Purpose of case study. First, thoroughly analyzes a situation or case. Case study is used to conduct a thorough analysis of a situation or case of an individual respondent that is used in social development to describe a person's life. Second, collection of information in detail. Efforts of investigator are to enter inside the matter so that he or she can collect information in detail. Third, scope of recovering valid information. For collecting information through case study method, investigator is allowed to expense enough time. Within this time, he or she inspects the situation repeatedly, understands the situation, develops the accurate strategy and lastly, recovers the valid information. Fourth, most flexible data collection method. 
In research design, case study method mostly has the flexibility for data collection and is particularly useful in researching issues related to personal, social and institutional systems. Fifth, enjoyable data collection method. Case study method is used to collect data in an enjoyable manner. In regard to the objectives of the study, investigator freely selects respondents, establishes relation, mutually fixes the time and collects relevant data. Types of case study method. First, collective case study method. Second, descriptive case study method. Third, explanatory case study method. Fourth, exploratory case study method. Fifth, multiple case study method. Sixth, instrumental case study method. Seventh, intrinsic case study method. First, collective case study method. This method includes a project that attempts to address an issue in question while adding to the literature base which helps to conceptualize a theory. Collective case study is endeavored to concisely show the detailed data collected by a group of individuals in a systematic manner. For example, a group of investigators is involved to collect data concerned to the educational background of a couple of respondents and its effectiveness in promoting the education of their offspring. Second, descriptive case study method. This is descriptive in character and intended to add realism and in-depth examples to other information about a program or policy. Descriptive case study enables the investigator to compare the new gatherings to the pre-existing matter. For example, an investigator is collecting information from a senior educationist regarding different educational policies and its implementation throughout the country. Information is also collected from him about the basic changing phenomena between former and present educational policies. Third, explanatory case study method. This type of case study is used to seek answers to questions which can explain the presumed causal links in real life interventions. Explanatory case study also helps to show the data in a better way and describe the causal investigation. For example, in the context of educational need, an investigator collects information from a lady of a rural area. Lady is found to communicate that she achieved reading and writing skills through the adult educational scheme which was initiated once upon a time in their locality. In her explanation, it is also expressed that she is an account holder of Grameen Bank and for banking activity, she does not need any help from others. Fourth, Exploratory Case Study Method This type of case study is used to explore a hypothetical or a theoretical idea. Through this case study method, investigator can collect something and seek to understand more about it. It is used to give more background information than usual case studies and compare results. Generally, utilization of such study is accomplished before implementing a large-scale investigation. For example, proposal has been developed to collect data from the beneficiaries who were literate under the scheme of Sarvashiksha Abhiyan. Before collecting data from grassroots level, discussion is done between the investigator and the official about the present progress of this scheme in a particular area. Fifth, multiple case study method. A multiple case study is used to explore differences within and between cases. 
By these differences, the cases can be chosen carefully and the investigator can predict similar results across cases or predict contrasting results based on a theory. For example, many investigators are involved to collect data from several informants who are going to be literate under the scheme of Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan. Each investigator is responsible to collect data from every informant. This method of data collection is very helpful not only to gather varieties of information from all but also to vary the information being collected from person to person. Sixth, Instrumental Case Study Method This is a work of which the purpose is to gain a better understanding of a theoretical question or problem. In other words, it allows the investigator to understand the science behind an experiment or case. For example, ICT facilities have been installed in various schools across the country. Both hardware and software under ICT facilities are used by the learners at ICT laboratories in schools. Many schools are very much advanced and they are using the installed ICT facilities to fulfill the needs of the learners, whereas a lot of schools are not using ICT facilities. Under case study method, investigator collects information from ICT teacher in the context of his observation on actual utilization of ICT facilities by the learners and need of ICT facilities for them. Seventh, Intrinsic Case Study Method. As a work, it focuses to learn more about a particular individual, group, event or organization having investigators' personal interest or curiosities. Investigator is allowed here to freely learn or study with pleasure. For example, an investigator is interested to study the life of a photographer. Generally, people have an aim to pursue medical or engineering or management courses and get in such professions. But here, a person communicates that he is interested in the profession of photography. Reasons of coming in this profession are also explained by the informant. Strength of case study method. First, comparatively flexible method. It is always phenomenon that case study emphasizes exploration rather than pre-description or prediction. Second, always inclusive of other methods. Case study allows investigator to begin with broad questions and try different methods in order to narrow their focus on their experiment. Third, deeply emphasizes on context. It is specialized to collect deep data or thick description by the investigator. Fourth, vividness and concreteness forever. Report consisting of using case study based data can provide a powerful intellectual an emotional impact on the readers. Weakness of case study method. First, probability of inherent subjectivity. Use of case study method can be stereotyped as a weak sibling among social science methods. Here, investigator is often found to deviate from his academic discipline, which sometimes leads to insufficient precision objectivity and rigorous investigation. Second, always a time-consuming method. It takes time to include different research methods in order to get an inclusive case study. Third, requirement of high investment. This study involves learning more about the subjects being tested since it emphasizes on deep data. It takes a lengthy budget to examine many subjects. Fourth, engagement of ethical consideration. 
it sometimes engages the personal integrity, sensitivity and possible prejudices and biases of the investigator. Fifth, possibility of a common complaint of incompleteness. There is possibility of getting disturbed due to the incompleteness of data in certain circumstances. Today, we have discussed about case study method. For further reading, you can consult the mentioned references and visit the following websites. In the next lecture, we will discuss about historical method. Thank you.